I think the best way to illustrate what's new and different about this new television and digital platform would be to take you through what will occur with the first race of the 2011 season. The 59th running of the Mobile One 12 Hours of Sebring presented by Fresh from Florida is going to have more media coverage, both live and broadcast on network television than potentially, I think, ever before. So here's how it'll begin. On Friday of race weekend, there will be a live one-hour qualifying show that will be featured on ESPN3.com. Beginning Saturday morning, race day, at 10 a.m., the live coverage will begin again on ESPN3.com with a pre-race show, followed by flag-to-flag -flag coverage of the full 12 hours race. It will be capped off with a post-race show that will carry all of the highlights of the race and some of the post-race activities into the evening hours, 11 o'clock on Saturday night. The next day, Sunday, a 90-minute featured show on the ABC television network will be broadcast. That same ABC network show will then receive an encore performance later in the week on ESPN2. When you take the cumulative effect of all of the ESPN3.com, the ABC network show, the encore airing of that show on ESPN2, the on-demand that will be available for three weeks after the race, you take it all together and it represents more television, more frequency, more reach, and a much bigger footprint that will enable us to provide great content to our core fans that want to see every minute of every race. But equally important, it will make the America Le Mans series available to a whole new list and a whole new group of potential fans that will come into contact as a result of this much bigger broadcast footprint that we'll have through ABC. ESPN3.com is growing rapidly. It represents the growth property for the ESPN family of networks. The numbers that are represented with them, with ESPN3.com, is the number of homes that can get a broadband connection that has ESPN3.com streaming into their homes. That number is going up daily, and there's other alternatives for those homes that can't get ESPN3.com. I'd like to speak for just a moment about what's happening in the television industry in general. It is the most volatile situation, I think, of any industry out there. You can call it uh, good planning or, or just good luck, but on the same day that we announced the new television details for the American Le Mans series presented by Tequila Patron, USA Today had a feature story on the front page with a big headline that said, Web TV is about to disrupt cable and satellite. What's that mean? Well, for years, we've all heard that your television and your computer are going to merge to become one. And for years, it hasn't quite worked out that way. Now, every aspect of television is changing. People's viewing habits are changing. The way they receive what is referred to generically as television is changing. But it's really a misnomer because, I don't know about you, but my kids watch more television on their laptop than they do on a TV. And soon that will apply to handheld phones, iPads, of course computers, and just about anything else that can get an internet signal. And that's the real dynamic that's in play here. All of the content that's available on the internet will soon, if not now already, be available to your television. Now there's a number of different services and software and hardware examples that will enable this to occur. In some cases, it's as easy as taking a cable and connecting your laptop to the flat screen that's hanging on the wall in your home. Other more sophisticated examples that frankly have a lot more flexibility to them could be Apple TV, Google TV, Boxy, a Roku box. These are all examples of small boxes that when connected to the internet can provide your television with all of the streaming content that's available on the internet. All the videos, all of the network content that's being put out there, and much, much more. It makes cable TV and satellite TV 
frankly look limited in terms of its content and connectability. This is one of the major reasons, if not the driving force, behind our decision to put the America Le Mans series on ESPN3.com. This is truly the gold standard, the current benchmark of sports programming in the streaming internet genre. So we absolutely are committed to retaining the current standard of television. ABC and ESPN2, it doesn't get any better than that. But at the same time, we wanted to make sure that we were on the leading edge of what some are referring to as being innovative and cutting edge, but trust me, in the not distant future, this whole web TV phenomenon will become very mainstream and what you are seeing today as being leading edge and cutting edge is going to be just like hitting the remote control, turning your television on, and being able to watch the most unbelievable array of content that you can imagine, all available to you through the internet. And at the top of that list, we hope, will be the American Le Mans series presented by Tequila Patron, live, fully produced, and in full length at ESPN3.com. Some of you have contacted us and expressed your concern that for whatever circumstances, your internet connection or simply the fact that where you live is not available, that you won't have access to the ESPN3.com stream. Now, if you have internet access, that same fully produced television show that'll have everything that you would expect from a, a top-line TV show, in-car cameras, live uh, timing and scoring, all of the elements that you've come to expect from an America Le Mans series television broadcast will be available at americalemon.com. So that same ESPN3 streaming feed will be available at americalemon.com. Whether you are out of the country or in an area where ESPN3.com is not available, if you have access to our website, you have access to that same video content, the full live produced races through AmericaLamont.com. Before I sign off, the fact that you're watching this video is proof positive that you absolutely are a fan. You're committed to the America Le Mans series and for that we thank you. We appreciate your involvement very much. I would also ask you to keep giving us feedback. This is an exciting time for us. In some cases we are blazing new territory here with this new TV and digital platform. Your feedback to us is important. We're here for you. Don Panos laid out from day one that the American Le Mans series is for the fans. Nothing's changed. I'd like to believe that what we've done with this television platform is yet another example of that. So thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you hopefully at Sebring, if not before.